Crews will break ground on a new affordable housing project in Cape Coral. That means nearly 100 low-income families will soon have a new place to call home. Fox 4 anchor Chris Shaw is live at the site that will become the new Civitas on Pine Island Road. Chris? Yeah, Lisa, it's kind of hard to believe there's never been a project like this in Cape Coral. That's part of the reason why I see so many smiles here. This groundbreaking is just minutes away from starting, so the people here include developers. There are also Cape Coral City Council members and Lee County Commissioners. I'm out here this morning to follow through on some of my reporting the last couple of months. As you may remember, back in February, I spoke to Southwest Florida business owners and CEOs for a series of stories about our local economy, and every single one of these people told me our biggest challenge right now is affordable, what some people call workforce housing. Then last month, Month, I followed through with a one-on-one -on -one interview with Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo to show you how state lawmakers plan to help by offering tax credits to developers and down payment money to people. Now today, we're in Cape Coral to see actual shovels go into the ground. This will be home for 96 families in Cape Coral. These are pictures of what Savitas will look like. Three buildings with one, two, and three bedroom units. All of them will be set aside for people the government classifies as low income. So for a family of four, that means a household income of no more than $64,000. There will also be lower rental rates for families who make less than $40,000 and $27,000 a year. Now, let's put that into perspective because according to Rent.com, here in Cape Coral, the average two-bedroom apartment goes for $1,750 a month right now. But per the current HUD guidelines, the most a family will pay for a two-bedroom at Civitas will be $300 less than that. And the people who fall into the two lower income brackets will pay $905 and $575 a month. The first building is scheduled to be complete in a year, and the developer says people will be able to move into the second and third buildings in May and June of next year. And this is a long time in the making, this project has been. More than or almost four years ago is when they first announced that it was going to happen, but the pandemic delayed it. Then so did some supply shortages and the hurricane delayed it even more. But that all leads us to where we are today. Shovels will go into the ground in just a few minutes here. We will be back live in our next hour to show you what happened and to speak with some of the people here about this project. Reporting in Cape Coral, Chris Shaw, Fox 4.